East African TV. Wow, that's a whole lot of TV. And what do people enjoy watching, basically? Okay, I'm gonna try to press this out. I hope it didn't lose. I have to say that even during that time, the people who could afford keep channels of that Hajj uh, or Imam praying and it's Premier League. I'm not quite sure. This, you know, and argue and talk about it. And the signal just lets you tune into. Six to ten local channels around will be highly appreciated. Someone asked me to 
shed light on what is usually shown in East Africa TV and what do people enjoy watching basically on a daily basis. Now I visited my cousin who lives in the capital center, the capital city, Nairobi, and she has Netflix. She has like a, what is it called? There's another common cable TV out there. I don't remember the name. Showmax, yeah, she has something called Showmax, I guess it's like a cable The last time I watched African TV, there was one or two raining cable TVs And those are called DSTV and <laughs> Go TV They were both popular in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania Do not quite know about Rwanda but yeah, I'll talk about the ones that I know. So anyway, for people who could afford, they could buy cable TV. And those that can't, they just get the local channels that you get by acquiring or buying an aerial. <laughs> My auntie actually still doesn't have cable TV. So she just gets the local channels with an aerial. An area is a kind of a signal Gotcha <laughs> And that signal just lets you tune into Like 6 to 10 local channels Around Kenya Or even Uganda So anyway Oh another nice way I did I'll leave that for the zoomed But a majority of the Kenyan population Let's say East Africa as a whole, they like to tune into the seven o'clock news. The seven o'clock news is usually in, if I'm not wrong, Swahili. So everybody is home at that time. Okay, majority of the people are home at that time, from parents to school kids, and they watch, you know, the news to know what's happening. So if you wanna know the things that are happening around the country. You watch the 7 o'clock news Because the news will fill you in on everything you need to know Also, a lot of people tune in to telenovelas <laughs> Basically these are soaps <laughs> From Mexico, you know Colombia, Philippines, Brazil These are very common in East African TVs Also I have to say that Nigerian shows Because Nigeria has a huge um, market for their movies in East Africa I guess Africa as a whole, they make movies a lot So yeah, during the day, like around 10 to midday There will always be a Nigerian show on local TV As I said, because most people can only afford to buy the area to catch the signal for local TVs You'll find that majority watch this, you know, Nollywood shows and telenovelas Also on East African TV you'll find that there's a couple of channels that play, you know, music depending on the day on Sundays, most of the channels will be playing Christian music You know, either gospel or hip-hop, but Christian On the other days of the week, there will be either hip-hop from America, rap And, and local music, of course, from either Uganda, Tanzania, or Kenya itself there will always be like, there will also be like shows on like Saturday Live shows of music playing where they go to different places Where there's something happening and then they'll cover that show I've lived in both Kenya and Uganda and they both do, do, they both do this So yeah, the local TV stations will go like to a club at night and cover what's happening over there and during the day they will go to like open shows and cover what's happening as they play music and stuff 
so another thing that you'll find being played a lot in East African TVs is soccer people watch a lot of soccer there's so many fans of let's say I don't really know much about soccer but I can say for sure I know this many people support the British or should I say British or just Premier League I'm not quite sure yeah like you know Arsenal Liverpool people are just into that kind of stuff so much so you'll find a majority of people are supporters of Arsenal Manchester and yeah it's really like a hype I don't know if it is still the same right now someone can enlighten us in the comment section but when I was living there that was all the hype you know <sighs> People support a lot of those Premier League um, um, teams and football as a whole, soccer as a whole. Also, Brazilian um, footballers, you know. Also, um, like football from, let's say, European football, Bundesliga, and stuff like that. As I said, I'm not so good with football, so I wouldn't be able to speak on it um, with accuracy. But yeah, there's a lot of fan base <laughs> in Africa. <laughs> they also do support like local teams. And whenever there's a game between Kenya and Nigeria or Kenya and Ghana, people go in huge numbers to watch such matches. So, even though they love it so much, it's not really like a religion. Because I hear like, you know, in America, they're supporting teams like, let's say, if you are a Red Sox fan or if you are any other team's fan, you know, every Sunday, they go to watch it like, you know, church. <laughs> In East Africa, it's different because even though they love it, they will not worship it. They will not miss church to go to our football match, you know. If at all there is one on Sunday. If there is one on Sunday, they will make sure it's after church, you know. So that people can attend both. Now, also on local TVs, there will be um, stations, religious stations that have pastors preaching from all over the world there will be some American pastors preaching the whole day it's just preaching and then there will also be um, some channels that have one or two channels that have Muslim um, imams are they called imams preaching in East Africa we call them let's say Hajj I don't know if that's correct right now or if I'm saying it the right way, but yeah, like the head of the congregation over there will be preaching. So there will be also one or two channels of that Hajj uh, or Imam praying and preaching. And then there will be, of course, channels with uh, pastors preaching from all over the world. And this is like a whole day thing, you know. You will not find any obscene channels in, our, in East African TVs. Like the way I hear when you go to, you know, some countries, some Western countries. You can just press the buttons of the remote and you will get like obscene channels right there in your face. In a click that you won't find in East African TVs. Even now I'm sure. You still will not find that. So if you want adult entertainment, I don't know, you have to probably organize it somehow yourself, you know. Anyway, another thing that you'll find in our local TVs is parliamentary proceedings. They air this out. On the time that they know people are mostly at home, but really love to watch this, you know, and argue and talk about it. Politics is like something so huge, but you know, I find it 
so, you know, useless because at the end of the day, they will vote for the very same people that don't keep their promises, you know. A lot of promises are made in this parliamentary um, proceedings. New bills are introduced, new laws of different things and yeah, everybody is just, it's just a hype even now for people to indulge in politics and watch parliamentary proceedings and, you know, talk about it longly. So, also, you'll find that in East African TVs, there are local TVs, that is, there are um, channels that, like, play American movies, especially in the evening and night. So, you'll be watching a lot of action, you know, action movies and stuff like that. During the time I used to watch TV, they had a lot of, you know, action movies that they would play and people really liked that in Uganda for example because up until years ago they didn't speak any English so they had famous translators that would translate movies you know so you would hear the translator just talking over the movie loudly it's not dubbing it's just a guy talking over the movie for example if Someone says, I will find you in English. Then the translator speaks over him and says something like, I'll find you, but in Luganda. So yeah, over there, there's a lot of that. And also they have like makeshift cinemas where they show movies, let's say mostly American movies. And they are translated by humans basically like human dubbing a man just watches a movie and speaks over it so that people can understand that only happens in Uganda though I don't know if that happens in Tanzania but maybe it does I haven't watched their TV but yeah in Uganda that's very common that you find movies that are translated during that time by human and sometimes the human would get the concept so wrong, you know, and probably mislead you on what exactly, on what exactly is happening. So in the local TVs, you'll find um, a lot of um, sitcoms are being played, either local or South African or even um, American sitcoms find that there is like uh, what local sitcoms can I say and my wife and kids you know such sitcoms there are some there uh, I wanted to zoom in guys to show you this um, I don't really know how to explain it what this is it might be a hair This might be an ingrown hair. I'll try to take it out with these tweezers. Guys, I don't know if any of you has noticed yet that we got a new camera. The zoom is great. My husband knows all about it, but I'm still learning. I wanna take this out. I hope it's properly zoomed. Okay, let's try this direction. Okay, I'm gonna try to press this out. I hope it didn't lose focus. It's a kind of a hair, ingrown hair. So guys, I've been trying to press a uh, ingrown hair here. It just changed position. right there. I was able to remove half of it, but I'm sure something is left in there. 